Well, I got the old uh, substrate squared away using the uh, J.E. Moser's uh, epoxy paste. And all that turned out well. Found a little bit more loose veneer on the uh, back right corner that I squared away. And then I moved on here to the uh, glue blocks, uh, getting those cut, put back in just using my uh, form factor out of aluminum foil, as you can see. So looking at the cabinet one more time in a final sand, again there's uh, a few battle scars on the cabinet which is to be expected from the 30s but uh, I think it's stripped and uh, cleaned up pretty well. Had a question about the epoxy uh, shrinkage and you can see it's nice and flat, no shrinkage there. And I took time also to uh, take the glue blocks and uh, get those uh, painted back up again I think a dark blue. Navy blue with some black is the best match, but I use some uh, gesso that I had on hand. It's a pretty good match, you can see. Okay, back on the cabinet. I've got all the uh, cabinet repairs made to the best of my knowledge. And uh, you can see I'm going to use a different type of uh, grain filler in this case. It's one I've had for a while. I wanted to uh, tint this cabinet more of a, uh, a brownish color before I apply some uh, reddish stain over the top and then probably go back over to uh, blend some uh, toners in as well but uh, using one by Stuart McDonald I've had this for a while I haven't checked to see if it's still available or not a uh, rosewood is again it's a water-based grain filler works uh, just like the uh, Timbermate product that I used on the uh, night receiver you can see I'm letting this area dry for about uh, 10 more minutes and then um, I'm just doing this in sections. I'll wipe it off with a clean cloth and then uh, go back with some uh, 320 to 400 grit uh, sanding paper. In this case, I'll just be using a uh, sanding pad and uh, go over the area. You can see I captured the residue that I scraped off and I uh, just mix it back in your uh, slurry and I will reuse it. Continuing to apply the grain filler around the curvature of the cabinet and blend it back in over here on this side and you can see my uh, demarcation point here and I'm still working my way back to the uh, left front side. You can see I've worked my way around the cabinet to this uh, left side. Got all the uh, front grain filled now. Just waiting another uh, probably five to seven minutes or so before I go lightly uh, sand this off. As you can see, I'm wrapping up on the uh, left side, so not a whole lot left to do. As far as the uh, grain filling goes. Listen, I've still got to do these lower uh, two sections and maybe even the bottom section too. It doesn't look to be an open grain wood, so I think I'll be fine there. And a few still photos after the uh, grain filling process. Sometimes it takes a, a couple passes, but I think in this case I'm uh, going to be just fine. I think it uh, turned out pretty well. Now it's time to uh, move on and uh, put a preconditioner on the uh, wood itself. And uh, you can see that's been applied now and just preparing it for some stain. Here's a look at the cabinet after applying the stain. Again, I'll let this cure for uh, 24 hours. And I tell you, it looks pretty good as is, but uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and attempt the uh, faux finish and uh, just give it a try. Okay guys, you're looking at the cabinet after uh, putting on the grain filler and some stain and uh, letting this cure for a little over 24 hours. So I may make a big mess out of this cabinet, may be a restrip or partial restrip and start over. And I may just have to live with the uh, substrate product that you uh, see on the cabinet right now. But uh, I'm gonna use some chalk pastels and try to recreate some of the uh, freehand just looking at some of my original uh, images, as you can see here, in the picture-in-picture. Uh, picture. So um, 
we'll see what happens again. The reason I went with a, a darker red base because I'll be using some blacks and browns. And I'll just be using my fingers to uh, rub the uh, chalk pastels into the finish. So that's going to darken it up. So uh, let's get started. Again, if you guys reference the side-by-side uh, -side picture, I'm going to start in the center. And uh, just come back this way and uh, create a couple lines and try to do some blending with some blacks and browns. Maybe some neutral colors as well. And then uh, just work my way down the edges. We'll see how this goes. Continue to uh, work around and work up, and then I'll tie the sides in, finish the rest of the uh, grill area. Time for a break, but you guys can see my uh, progress thus far. Still a, uh, a work in uh, progress, if that's what you want to call it, or just a big mess. Looks kind of cool right now as I continue to uh, do all the uh, faux off to the uh, sides from the front. You can see I'm wrapping up on my uh, faux recreation. Just some uh, squiggly lines mixing of the uh, chalk pastels. and then the blending of the colors.
So you saw my attempt at recreating a faux type finish. Again, it's not a exact match to the original finish. It's kind of fun, out of the box uh, concept and thinking of uh, doing it using the uh, chalk pastels. Anyway, after doing that, applying some uh, toner lacquers misty coats just to get the uh, color profile where I wanted it. A couple light coats of uh, clear, more work needs to be done including uh, sanding and of course all the uh, detail work with all the black uh, inlay and around the grill areas as well. I appreciate everyone watching. Everybody take care. Stay well.